Whether called cell disruption, rupture, or lysis, it means the same process. Cell disruption is a key process for many scientific breakthroughs, including gene therapy, diagnostic testing, pharmaceutical development, and vaccine production. Cell disruption is the process of breaking cells to recover and maintain the intracellular content integrity with high efficiency. As cells are harvested and produced, containing molecules or particles of interest, such as proteins or viruses, they must be lysed to capture the intracellular contents of interest if they are not extracellularly secreted. This lysing is an essential step during manufacturing of many biological products, such as enzymes, nucleic acids, vaccine antigens, and viral vectors. Without lysing the cell, accessing the particle of interest is not possible. Effectively recovering material necessitates lessening waste and limiting damage to the intracellular contents. Any processes that introduce a temperature increase or use excessive force may damage or denature the material. Clarifying and purifying the products of interest from cell debris also presents downstream sterile filtration challenges. So what role does microfluidics play in this key process of cell rupture? Microfluidizer processors achieve the highest level of cell rupture and product recovery across different cell types, whether it's bacterial cells such as E. coli or yeast cells, mammalian cells, or algae cells. Key to this is that microfluidizer technology applies a constant, controlled shear rate to the overall sample. An efficient, integrated cooling system ensures the proteins stay intact, even under high-pressure processing, so thereby ensuring the protein yields are high. Microfluidizer processors offer this technology that is tough on cell walls and membranes, but gentle on the intracellular contents. The unique controlled shear rate combined with the revolutionary interaction chamber at the heart of the equipment, results in a fewer number of passes being needed to process material, thereby saving time, money, and the ability to scale up from R&D to pilot scale to production scale. Each batch is handled exactly the same way, producing results that are consistent batch to batch. Microfluidics provides a broad range of models designed to meet individual application needs from benchtop and lab-scale processors for smaller sizes to pilot-scale processors and up to production-scale machines capable of handling large batch sizes. All the processing results can be reliably scaled up from lab to production with consistent results at every stage. Microfluidizer processors provide highest protein integrity recovery, resulting in little waste and damage. Consistent controlled shear rate, ensuring all cells receive this same pressure and shear rate. Efficient cooling, preventing damage to temperature sensitive contents. No contamination, eliminating additional purification steps which other chemical processes require. Ease of use, so no specialized skills are needed for operation and little maintenance is required. Simple downstream processing. Cell contents are easy to centrifuge, separate, and filter with little to no clogging. Flexibility to process a variety of different cell types, whether it's bacterial, yeast, algae, or mammalian. And guaranteed scalability. Results can be replicated from lab scale to pilot scale to production and manufacturing. So, how does microfluidizer technology compare to other cell disruption methods? Whether it's another homogenizer, sonicator, or bead mill processor, microfluidizer processing gets superior results as it relates to constant shear processing, small volume processing, contamination-free processing, temperature control, continuous processing, and scalability. Only microfluidizer processors are able to accomplish all of these critical features.